is absolutely amazing uh, and is uh, the future uh, future car and I think that it, it if it will be available I would play it So today we announced that of course the MBOS is on a journey to be delivered. We have put on a proof point that the E-Class today already has the infotainment domains and in the new CLA that is coming out next year, we are then launching a new virtual assistant which is generative AI based and it's there to create a more empathic and intuitive way to communicate with your vehicle. And we have a great new feature that combines root guidance with driver assistance and amazing 3D graphics together with AI. We use this to classify all the objects detected by the sensors and merge them into a virtual environment, giving you that context in real time. We call it NDUX Surround Navigation. And you can see that in the seat back here as well today. It includes realistic rendering of cars, vans, trucks, buser, buses, motorcycles, and even cyclists, as well as the direction of travel that they are heading. We're also being able to marry domains together, creating new exciting experiences. We call it surround navigation. And that is where we take the sensor data from all of the cars that normally was in the, in the ADAS domains and marry that with the navigation so that you can create a much more intuitive and much more easy to follow navigation, creating trust in the vehicle's ability to sense the environment around you. Yeah, but I still have skepticism about AI products. I question myself, is that the way of the future or not? I like it, but yet I'm hesitant. I guess I have to see it to believe it and see how well it's going to perform. When it comes to self-driving and autonomous driving vehicles, I question if that's truly the way of the future or whether we want us humans to be really driving our vehicles.